just about ready to roll. And on the mound now, Carlos Rodon. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Soto gets under it. One down. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Yandy Diaz. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Kicks and fires. Slider misses outside. Got him swinging. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And that's a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Man in scoring position with two away. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. Rodon ready. Here it comes. And that one fouled off. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two out double made this inning interesting. Swing and a miss. Stuck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back at Yankee Stadium. And today's starter, Ryan Pepio. And singing, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Juan Soto now. Left hand hitter waits. Fouls one off. Two and two. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Punched out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. One ball, two strikes. Wouldn't two, chase two. that time. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Five, Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. One, two, three, go the Yankees. We played an inning, no score. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. The pitch. That one missed. Next offering is in for a strike. 
Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Slider got him for strike three. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when the two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Two one now. Foul ball. Second inning here, no score. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And now it's Jose Siri. One fouled off, two and two. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. And that extends the inning. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, cut out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. The one-two. And another ball. Step off throw to first, and he dives back in safely. Well, and that three. one upstairs. 3 2, two oh, out, yeah. runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Siri off of first with two away. Got him looking, yeah. and he did not like the call. The Rays strand just the one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back in the Bronx. Here's Alex Verdugo. Payoff pitch. The punch out there. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Here's Glaber Torres. One down, base is empty. In for a strike. And the count's full. The pitch. Got him. And there's two away. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Two out spaces empty. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Down in order, go to Yankees. We'll move to the third with no score. Back in New York, top half of the third inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, Taylor Walls. Swings through that one for strike two. Rats and misses. It's a strikeout. 
He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Yandy Diaz now. The lefty fires. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. Top of the third. No score. Foul ball still. A one and two count. One down. Base is empty. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. And he deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Verdugo gets under it. Drops into the glove. And that's the third out. Home half of the third coming up. No score. here in New York now it's the shortstop Anthony Volpe not shortstop ground ball up the middle into the outfield base hit so a runner aboard to start the inning Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. The 1-1. One -one. Rudder takes off. Pitch in for a strike. One ball. Throw to second. Ow! Well, they tried to press their luck a little after having just picked up their first hit of this ball game. So that caught stealing kind of stinks. Can't blame them for trying to get something going offensively, but so far, it's just not happening for these guys. The pitch. Close one doesn't get the call. And the count is even two and two. Righty delivers. Goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Had some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far moving the ball around nicely. Ball. That's off the mark. Two and ball. that's ball two. two down. Nobody on. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Next one misses. Three balls, two strikes. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Rortvet makes the grab, and that'll do it. On to the fourth. Still scoreless. Here's the left fielder, Randy Orozarena. Next offering is downstairs. 
Well, these Rays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Isaac Paredes now. One down, base is empty. Fouls one off. Two and two. Swing it a miss. That's the second out. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball in the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Rays held in check here. Still no score. Back now in the Bronx. Bottom four. In now is the Yankees DH. DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision you don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss, and you go back to the dugout shaking your head. Here's Juan Soto. The other way, and he beats the shift. Now he'll turn for second. The Rosarina gets it in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. And it's second with one away. Aaron Judge at the plate. Next offering is down low. Verdugo to bat next. Man at second. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Now that left field. Now it's going to be Alex Verdugo. Soto on its second with two down. That's the third. And he beats the throw. He's safe. Is Glaber Torres. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The 2 1. Good take by Torres. 
A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And the righty deals. Swing at a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Low snags it on the run. Yank strand a pair. And we're still knotted at zero. New inning getting started. Here's the second baseman, Ahmed Rosario. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. Out towards right center field. Makes the grab one down. Jose Siri digs in now. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Swings and misses, and there's two away. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Next to hit, Ben Wurtvet. The wind of the pitch. In there. And so now one and two. Another ball. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Wouldn't chase that time. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for Tampa, and we are still scoreless. Stepping in for the Yankees, Austin Wells. Singing four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow, and I'll give you a free suit. That to right. He's got it. Yeah, there's one away. Maybe okay. caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't Not quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now Anthony Volpe. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. Lifted in the air, out to left. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The pitch. And that's a little bit high. It's two and two. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Okay. And downstairs. Right-hander kicks deals. On the ground at first, Diaz. Throw is wide, and it gets past him at first. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. 
you never know what might come next as a result. Now at the plate, Oswaldo Cabrera. Oh, no. Good eye right there. That one in there across the letters. Two balls, two strikes. Pepio picks the first. He and he dives back in safely. Two two now. Bounced out to short. Finds his way through base hit. So that's two straight two out hits. Back to the top of the lineup. DJ LeMayhew getting ready to hit. Two on, two outs. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. And we're back. Start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Taylor Walls. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. On the inside corner for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Here's a 2-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 2-2 now. And another ball. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side. And that chance handled. Tosses to first. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. So the Rays batting order turns over. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. And another ball. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. That one missing inside. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. One down, base is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. Oh, foul tip into the mid, struck him out. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2, goes off speed, gets the out. And now it's Brandon Lau. Here's a 1 1. Hit on the ground to the right side. Judge takes He's it to out. the bag. Rays retired in order. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. And we still have no score.
bottom of the sixth inning and stepping in for the Yankees Juan Soto for the Yankees the right fielder Juan Soto hard grounder into the outfield for a knock man aboard on the leadoff single Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Ryan Pepio won't go any further tonight. And a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. Kevin Kelly gets handed the rock out of the pen. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Here is Aaron Judge. And the pitch. Late on that fastball. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The one two gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And here it comes. Pitch misses. And it's two and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That misses. And that's ball three. Alex Verdugo in the on deck circle. With the go ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. On the ground right side, four, six. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Well, they had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Two on, one out. Labor Torres up to the plate. Two on, one out. In the air, left field. The Rosarena moving under it. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And next for New York, Austin Wells. Verdugo off of first with two away. Well struck right field low raging back towards the wall makes the catch up against the wall so a run on one hit no errors and a man left seventh inning coming up Yankees won the Rays nothing. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, we go to the top of the seventh. Now the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're guessing wrong and their timing's off. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, pretty clear to me, he's trying to go deep right there, but you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. 
A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, bro. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. So here's the cleanup hitter, Isaac Paredes. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Carlos Rodon is done in this one. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Luis Heal on the pitch here. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. Now up for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. Here's a one-two. Strike three, got him swinging. That's out number two. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Now the batter now, Ahmed Rosario. Oh. That misses the zone, and a count two and one. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Two outs. And there's a ball. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. So now two on and two outs. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. So two on with two away. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. So the tying run at second and a count one and two. Hater deals. Got him swinging. So the Rays strand a pair. They still trail 1 0. Bottom of the seventh. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. For the Yankees, the shortstop, Right-handed reliever. Okay. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. He was all over that one. Now Just kept it simple. Center Played fielder. Pepper with the middle of the right. infield and took it back where it came right. from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And up next for New York, Trent Grisham. Checks over to first, back safely. And a pitch. Runner on the goal. This one in the air right field. Low has it sized up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Now batting. Third baseman. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. Volpe over at first with one away. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. By drive, base hit. We'll throw the third. Not in time. He's safe. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Now it's the DH, DJ LeMayhew.
in the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. And a base hit knocks in a run. To third, close play, but in there. So because of the injury, a replacement needed at third. Pinch running here, Bruno Rosario. Runners on the corners with one gone. And next for New York, Juan Soto. Left-hand batter waits. Now this one's crushed down the line. Fucking foul ball. The Yanks trying to break this one open. Here at the bottom of the seventh. And a curve is down and in. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Three, two. That's a base hit, run scores. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Taj Bradley. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So first and second with one man gone. Here comes Aaron Judge. Next Three offering one. away upstairs. Two on, one out, and ball four, and Judge takes his walk. Oh, this is their chance to break it open. If they don't end up winning this ball game, they're going to look back at this opportunity right here and have some regret. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. And the pitch. That's out to center field. Sizes this one up. And he makes the catch. Runner tags for home. And now the runner will score from third of the wild throw. Now that can be a tough one with the bases loaded. You can try to do too much, but there he didn't. He stayed within himself. He got that run in with the sack fly. Would have been nice if the runners behind well, could have advanced, but they'll take big. what they got. So first and second with two outs. Oh, and up next for New York, Glaber Torres. Two on, two outs. Late with the swing there. Two ball, two strike. That one the other way. Makes the grab on the run. And that will end the inning. Three runs on four hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We look ahead to inning number eight. The Yankees four, the Rays nothing. Now into the game, Bruno Rosario. He's the new third baseman. Now new pitcher for the Yankees, Caleb Ferguson. And he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. Here's the catcher, Ben Workvet. Ferguson. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Drifts towards it. He makes the grab. And there's one away. 
Now batting. Shortstop. Taylor Walls. So digging in. Taylor Walls. One down, base is empty. Inside. That one drifts inside. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Number 61, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Canely also getting ready. Ball. A little bit high. And now three balls and a strike. The Rays down by four, and we're in the top of the eighth. Late on that fastball. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Yandy Diaz. And another ball. And that one hammered. Soto moving back for it. And brings it in at the wall. So they go quietly there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. The Yankees four, the Rays nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the bottom of the eighth. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. You know, these Yankees putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. Well, the numbers show us how well they've dealt with off speed pitches. Seven of their hits have come against those offerings, so. They're seeing the ball really well out of the pitcher's hand today. Good hard the fastball up in the zone right there. They Short look stop. really good coming Anthony. in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Bases empty one away here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And next for New York, Trent Grisham. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That one ripped. That's back. And that one is out of here. His seventh home run of the season. It's six nothing. Well, you can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but. He got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. One out, base is empty. And now, Bruno Rosario. Had a good eye there. Check swing, but he went too far. That is strike two. And another ball. Activity in the bullpen. Manuel Rodriguez up and throwing. Clevenger warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. So the batting order turns over. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. The 1 1. 
Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. One strike. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now it's Juan Soto. Two outs. Ball. And another ball. Two one. And that's off the inside edge. And now three and one. Aaron Judge on deck for the Yankees. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Righty reliever out of the pen, Manuel Rodriguez. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. The hard-throwing righty trying to secure these outs against a potent Yankee lineup, but it starts with Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And no, now he's falling behind Judge. It's a big Two opportunity ball. right One here, strike. but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. That three misses one. the zone. And a count is three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Well hit the other way. That one going back and now. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Struck him out looking. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. Last chance for the Rays coming up. Back in the Bronx, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now the number two hitter, Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau. And now the lefty. Ball too high. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. A right-hander appears to be getting loose. Popped up. Settles under this one. He's there. He's got it. Run up on down. He's two outs away. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. Base is empty one away here at the top of the night. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. One ball. Two strikes. Ah, Sets him down looking. And they're down to their last out. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Kicks and deals. Ground ball, and this should do it. Torres handles. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Yankees take this one in a blowout. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.